follow some safety rules. by paying tribute as many as are able to these rhymes. here and we also want to have you safe and coming back to your house with your family very happy
Thank you very much. What is the essence of business? Business exists to solve societal needs to by developing sustainable energy solutions in Africa, emphasizing training and development of local expertise and utilizing of very energy intense industries by distributing natural gas through option with all the complements enjoyed from other board members. Allow me to two for or say to two the second. Nasantin. Your Royal Highness. It gets to a time where I get discouraged, but you have always urged me on. And that is why you are seeing the success today. I am very grateful to you. The Minister of Energy, Honorable Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe, may I wish you all the best. Nananum, ladies, gentlemen, and friends of the media, private enterprise, as the engine of growth for the country has over the years been responsible for supporting government's agenda in providing employment, developing the manufacturing sector, and generally sustaining and enhancing the performance of our economy. In this regard, it is important that government shuns any form of inertia and rather facilitate the use of private capital to develop this country. Indeed, it would be prudent for government to re-evaluate any project which private capital does not consider bankable, on the basis that whenever government signs any agreement which stipulates that the proper law to be any other law which is foreign to the Ghanaian legal code, it presupposes that there is no faith in our own laws or legal system. Thus, there is the need to resolve any issues within the judiciary to make certainty of commercial transactions. Otunfo. In Ghana, there are those who believe that the government should be the giver of all things, including jobs and even housing. But I don't think this should be the case. And it behoves on all of us to exploit this notion and rather facilitate private enterprise to develop this beautiful country of ours. Today's function is indeed palpable evidence of what private endeavor can do, and in fact has done, as against the inability of a government entity to achieve this since its inception. Although some of these entities are needful for monitoring and regulatory purposes, the vesting of all new projects to one entity can result in delays for the delivery of projects which the citizens need. A typical example is the vesting of all small hydroelectric plants to the Bui Power Authority. One wonders what purpose this vesting will serve and how beneficial it would be to the cause of this country. The clarion call, therefore, is for government to develop a robust system which encourages private sector collaboration in achieving the highest standards of living for this country. Instead of the slow pace of development, the involvement of private entities could result in accelerated development, not only for Ghanaians, but for all humanity. 
My company, Gensa Energy, is happy to collaborate with all stakeholders in the development of Ghana. And in this, I know the Otufo is championing every development that will benefit the people, not only of Ashanti, but in Ghana in general. Your presence here today assures us of the possibility of building a rather beautiful country with strong socioeconomic presence globally. Otunfo, I welcome you once again to this pace setting event, and I know with you, success will not be deprived of Jensa. I thank you very much for coming. Warm thoughts and that powerful note of welcome from our board chair, Nana Okuchansium Osainyampong the Sith. We thank you very much for underscoring the essence of private sector as the engine of growth in collaboration with all the compliments he's enjoyed from other board members. I'm terrible at protocol, so if you will forgive me, I recognize you, sir, and the minister. Everybody else, please forgive my determination to move quickly. The opportunity to participate in the building of this extraordinary business that is Jensa is one of the great privileges I've had in my recent life. And frankly, Bafo ranks alongside some of the great moments in my life, such as children and, and getting married. It's And I think very much part of what my family has been about, and we have been doing this for over 120 years, is trying to build business that supports community. And we have been successful in South Africa. We've been successful in Zambia and Zimbabwe. We've been successful in Namibia. We've been successful in Nigeria and in Uganda and in a past life, Tanzania. We've also had success further north in Morocco, and it's now time to try and bring that success to Ghana, and particularly to here at Ashanti. And uh, Your Majesty, I'm, I'm not sure if this is appropriate or right, but uh, Sam Jonah calls me his nephew, and my father his brother. And I feel that I have, uh, for some considerable time, had a very close association with this wonderful country. And so thank you for allowing us to come and participate in the development of Ghana and everything that I hope will be the next 50 to 100 years. Ultimately, to do that, Ghana needs to grow. Ghana, actually, I lie, Africa needs to grow and Ghana at the forefront of that. We need to create a, a domain where every single person here and every per single person you know looks to tomorrow and believes it will be better than it is today. That is the challenge that we face. To do that, we need two things. We need labor, people to do and build and create goods and services so that we can have a better life. And we need capital so that that can result in factories and machinery and training and services so that those things can be delivered. Ultimately, the world is a very simple place in that it needs those two catalytic parts to come together to create a future. We believe in joining with Jensa that we have been able to bring some capital to do that. But we need to find ways to bring more capital. And frankly, the opportunities to invest money in Africa, in Ghana, have proved remarkably lacking. And that is in large part because the opportunities, while superficially there, when examined in detail, have not been there. And Nana, your, your comments about business being the driver of, of the future are entirely correct. 
and the private sector does, I believe, lead in the provision of our well-being. And if we think to our most successful communities, they have been driven by individual endeavor, driven by individual business and activity, which has benefited all of us. And I really think that that is absolutely vital. So I believe Ghana has to grow. And ultimately, the most important component of bringing labor and capital together, the enabler of so much in this world of the 21st century is energy. Without energy, so much is not possible. And Gensa is about bringing cheap, affordable, practical, deliverable energy to Ghana. And I think that what we've been able to achieve in building some 420 million, to million, I wish it were 420 million, 420 kilometers of gas pipeline, generator units at various mines, and in the process of building the gas conversion plant here, are all signals to what we want to do in terms of a sustainable long-term future here in delivering sustainable energy solutions to this country and its neighbors. And we've been doing that remarkably successfully. And we're doing it in a way that we hope is globally competitive. And so I challenge any of you to look at what we do. And don't compare it against others here in Ghana, but compare it to the rest of the world. And I believe we are competitive. And in that competitiveness, we will deliver a solution to Ghanaian growth which will reach beyond just this moment in time to years into the future. And so, ladies and gentlemen, your majesty, if I can make perhaps a boast that Gensa is for Ghana and beyond. Thank you all. Executive Chair of the Oppenheimer Generations, thank you very much. I give to you the man who conceived this and has brought it to life. Ladies and gentlemen, he's yours. Asante man, welcome, your very own, the Honorable Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe. Oh, Jonathan Oppenheimer, distinguished invited guests. Today is indeed a remarkable day. And I've been thinking whether I deserve the tag I conceived the idea. Those who worked before me till I got into the ministry had started planting the seeds of job creation and industrialization in the middle belt of the country. In fact, when I became the Minister of Energy, the plan, like my good friend said, was well laid to extend pipeline from Pristia to, in fact, Enyinehini to ensure that affordable energy is created for the bauxites and refineries that was going to creep up in Enyinehini. In fact, the plan included a pipeline from Enyinehini through Kumase through Chebi and back to Tema to ensure that that industrialization will be driven by cheap energy fueled by gas. What I may have done was to create the atmosphere where private sector capital will bring the pipeline to Kumase faster, cheaper, and more efficiently and ensure, <laughs> and ensure that under the rain, of His Excellency Nanado Danko Ekufuado, a lover of Ashanti in all forms, this project happens. Because many projects are conceived and they do never happen. But we had to ensure that this project happens during the reign of His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado. I must say on that note that there are people that I have to thank for their services to the country. I've mentioned His Excellency the President, his Excellency the Vice President, Dr. Mamou Balmia, who is the Chairman of the Economic Management Team, who envisaged that the pipeline will move all the way from Pristia 
through mining communities, including in Ehini. That conception had already been done before I got to the ministry. I have to thank my colleagues in the ministry before me, uh, Minister Amewu, Minister Oreku, who had worked tirelessly to ensure that this happened. Probably the only reason why Nananyampong and Bafue J would say I conceived the first time I ever spoke to Bafue, he was in America. And he was of the firm view that the pipeline should go from Nirehini and come to Kumasi. And I challenge him that whoever says it's possible um, is a liar. He doesn't know the topography, the spatial build of between Nirehini and Kumasi. And anybody who tries to build the pipeline there will suffer enormous cost such that the project would not become bankable. So I asked him to try other pathways, but to go through less built up area and get to Kumasi, and for that matter, KNUST, as quickly as possible. My resolve was based upon the fact that two of my technical advisors, who are here, and I'll congratulate very soon, assured me that technically they needed a generation center in Kumasi to enable even Gridco to transmit efficiently across the Kana and reliably. That is uh, Ebenezer Sini, Green Coop, uh, Brigo Chief Executive. Thank you. But could you stand up so that people recognize you? And the VRA Chief Executive, who's been my very good friend for years. Uh, we have a lot of battles in the office. But yes, he came around to support the idea that he was prepared, Jeff, he was prepared to relocate a Mary plant to which we had given over to VRA to ensure that power generation starts as soon as the pipeline gets here. And indeed, these two people have always come to my office to assure me of their support. So this project has happened because of private capital, because of hardworking technical people, and our good self. I only facilitated and made sure that people fall in line, right? You will fall in line because that project had to happen. But the person who spiritually physically, morally, has made me what I am, also decided to back the project. That is the Her Majesty Otufo of Saint. He alone, and he alone, is the one who calls and tells me and puts me straight, right? He says, Napo, it has to happen, and it will happen. Once he has said it must happen. So if today we are here, we should thank all the good people working in Jensa, all the good people working in the Ministry of Energy, all the advisors, technical and everything, who have made sure that today we have such a project. The benefits of this project is not seen by today, but very soon. The projects, the number of jobs it would ha make happen in Ashanti region, like now when we look on our right, if you are sitting on your left, AXA Power and AXA Energy is building, going to build a huge plant also to serve to create power in Kumasi. VRA itself has started. It, in fact, it has other plans it's going to bring to Kumasi. And, and also, Senate. Senate is also bringing plans. I know they've bought a plant to also come and locate in Kumasi. Very soon, there, there's so much power to help industrialization in Ashanti and beyond. When you go into the history of Ghana, Ashanti for years was the hub of industrialization in a country called Ghana. And surely, under the Osei Nana Osei Tutu, or two for Osei Tutu the second, Ashanti will come back as the industrial hub of this country. Thank you, and God bless us all. A proud son of Ashanti man, I ask that you celebrate your own, the Honorable Doctor Matthew Boku Prempe, Minister for Energy. Please, a round of applause. He speaks to us today in the voice of our fathers gone and our fathers here present, the writer king who sips communion wine with the goats. Please welcome Nana Asasi.
when a child is called before his elders, he dare not name names or call titles, lest he misses one and be made to pay a fine. And so I am simply a child learning the ropes of the world and the ways of my people. My elders, if I miss a word or two, forgive me. I am ever ready to learn. A man can only be as true as his mother tongue. But I will only offend you after four. I will have 36 chances that my neck will not be a matter for discussion when all of this is done. I greet you, my kinsmen. Enti <laughs> And a contoqua, a nunti, and what to me share. A macania, and yen yenam, a sign be pee or sa inti maimo. Wako edin kunimbo atu ho, and prim pring a sadian yes, a sa yen huni. Ago, 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 ubisim manuati, edin penisem. Now so my janum won't you, Abofrana, my dear. Nemo, say me share, said you, young couple, born a dear. No sun you nipem, no coye. No one sign a baby, you are. But Timmy and so I go with her. Who's any for her? My sotre or trade the ampon. Now fatre, young nana, or say to two yamekesi, a baby you. Now who no noa, when who no is a woman on Yancopon, who pass them a catcher on Yancopon, Kagun from him, Watty, now so pass them, dear Sia, my dachy ma, Kasha, I see him, you could anyha. Aja, me by ya. Me besre ni mdiye, me besre ni ansa, me besre ni nche, me biya, me mpeti u, me di si me nchiri ma ba bi huna ni se, oba di anyuni ni si kwenye tu mano, wote sasa sasa simfu mfini, na dem ba dream ba tisa mene wu, si hu, sasa simbi chiri u ya se swa, wamu famra, ni yansa ni yansa pano ba dream mem, enunti ya santi mai, ene ya tia semde, yehuna sempa, okoto huo anuma, ohini bei. Or him bani di ane papa ti asi, or him ma bani di ane ma ame ti asi. Inti wamu. Edan wa yeshi a yeme na na numu a mini mudi in komo mitre se o pesi umu abu frade a chia numu a chene jana numu ti fi. If we say, o chia jaya ti fi a o tu mi humse ne bano o bedu a chiri. O hini ba, mitre o, fwa sufi me kakra. Muni a juma sunu a wedi. Enye nungwa ne yeye nfe. Di a yeye nfe ni se abra ye ba ye ebe bo wudin ebo jesu ede guru yeno. Uti si beje mo auma onsa so auji ajo bere wo se she monto empete ema ubiere udi juma mani be do me so no enko ye ye be she na ye suya na ye hunu se enyo ba ku fu en ye de ne chichire kokromoti ahoma ni kokromoti ni ye de bomu a etume bo po ago 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 fiha jordan asemo so kebi Jensa Energy, Mr. Oppenheimer, I've been speaking in my mother tongue, but I would like to speak to you in one that you would understand. It simply says, one who would offer you little is the one, one who has a lot, would still offer you some. And so we come to express gratitude for this holds shea butter to rub your feet, and then it holds grain with which we plant our dreams. This is half of the sun, this is half of the womb, and so, we welcome you to this land of gold. We welcome you to this place with gratitude. Tread gently. May earth receive your steps and may it flourish. May your steps resound when you step. And then you would know 
that you have been everywhere, but this is the center of the world. Asempaitia, nana sasi, mametwa emana wari. Asempaba, baku mienu nimprene sasu unyamekesi. Akunfie dununu, sikantu mano, epo fa enweji nadi atiri. Shesa watiri, shenefe, wa enye ufene ni ese wara. Uma wansa su seya utiri mono we si uti ase. Ana sa se o mama kwe jebi wa fase. Miji na gana mranti ene mamba wane mu njana e kase. Ene ya be chere no kure. Ya ba be kano kure. The truth is not as important as the telling it is given. And so, how do we receive this? In the next 25, may we count greatness. In the next 25, when we are 50, may Jensa be strong enough to make the next 100. And by the time we gather to count our harvest, my good sir, may you live long. The beard is the broom with which the elders gather wisdom. Our elders rinse their beards in the dew to lose their pigment. But when you meet elders who taught no beards, they might have picked all of life's experiences. Indeed, you are seated on good laps and you cannot fail. Ago. 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 Long live your majesty. Nana, say to two. Abebiu. Ukura tu minti. Ena utu mi kasame tu misi. Ukura tu minti. Ena wun fre yen su sikanje uswo. Ukura tu minti. Makura, yu bou ding kukumpinting edi jao. Diyo si asim we wanti asi enwa. Mesisa, esisa, esisa, edi suwa uwa. Ube fakura, ube nu muzi u. Echira sem, eyo bo adie adie. Nana sa se, o mama kwenje bi wofa se. And we'll see. And we'll see. Sikamwa ewofom. Yebansu pe bwa magana nswa yeye. 
Jonathan, I agree with you that government should be looking at policies instead of uh, being involved in industry and everything. It doesn't work. So, and it's about time Ghana realizes that it's not going to work for government to be involved in police in setting up companies and all those things. It doesn't work. So, government should be contained with policies, and then private sector should be involved in setting up industries and everything. So, it works that way, and therefore you can attract more investment to come to the country, and it so, creates more em employment. So. DRA and others, our government establishment, let's give it out and divest to public sector and private sector, and then we get money in there. So, and get the right people to do it. So, so great for and others and all are all for private sector. Let's give them the money, get the qualified people, divest government from it, and let them do it. So, other than that, electricity company is, is in a situation where we don't know, but that also must be divested and given to private sector. So, why are we still holding it when we don't have the money? So, we are not even able to collect all the taxes that we want. No. So we are going to IMF for money and all those things. No. We are hanging on to industries that we cannot maintain and run. So no. look, it's about time we face realities and then decided on what government should be doing and what private sector should be doing. So, so that we, this is a testimony of private sector investment. No. And they were able to attract it of the hammer. His family has all the money in South Africa. They were able to attract him to come here. So because he believed in private sector. So and they've done it in various countries in Africa. So, so that is how we have to be looking at it to attract more of these investments into the private sector so we can do it. So my son here when he was Nanyapo was saying that those small generators and all those are given to we and all those things. Go and review the policy and let the government know how to go about it. So, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for coming here to witness what we are witnessing today. So, it's a testimony to the hard work of the Ministry of Energy, Gensa, and Private Sector. So, and that's why we have this here. And I thank you very much for and my son here for inviting me to see what we all prayed for. And now we are here witnessing it. Thank you very much. Mekachi na ai ungovu zeminti chini na mbeza mekacho biya zeminti chini na ai na maybe 19 ena yebai na ose na mary umuachi mota na ose worisi asante hine for fronti mi papa zeminti bejano zeminti yebai ena yebai ceremony na na. Nay, Hoopa, Oya Bofra, Nay, Hoopa. Ain't he? I'm here with a lot of memories. And knowing that 25 years HMO, and 
another 25 years reba but this 25 years are reby a full of industrialization ubekase are full of industrialization in the empire are born is a um otun for benya ho den na wait to me a shepherd a shanty towards this industrialization no i pai pre dia bedu ha but yenyina ejuma tu o ha se ye na ejuma tu no ejuma Honorable Nana Poku Debia, Okuko Mugu Masum, Nawa Menifa, Enna Jonathan Sukiko Mugu Masum, Nawa Benkum. Na a human is a right of way, no CM protect here, a best ABBA, great co for a young Ajuma, VR for a young Ajuma, but CM protect your right of way, na a best say pipeline, and a best say power plants in Rinya gas. Now, when you know, one solution, but we'll see. Young farmers no, and they are here for now, right of way for no. Young year, Juma, near vegetable farms, because vegetable farms, the farmers are never caught right of way, so every day to see, say, every year, yeah. In Tianone Empire, everybody say, a Juma Bakwa can, Yenny are here for no, and they are um. A uh, project affected people, no. But you, Juma, na, you protected right of way, no. Inti, what you for? Yeah, that's the pass. What you are to now, Krum. And yeah, that's for the support of the mine. Thank you very much.